Hi everyone, it's Steph from Dubs RV Services and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna to show you how I cleaned an air conditioner. So I, I went on my friend's roof and I cleaned her air conditioner for her and I decided to take my uh, video, I make a video out of it for you. And this is not just the easy process, just you know unscrew the shroud, take it off, clean the coils, put it back on. This is gonna show you actual step-by-step -step how I did it. You're gonna see it. I also will give you in the description all of the tools that I use to clean the air conditioner in the comments. And that way, if you want to order any of those things, you can. And you're going to see the mistakes that I make and like not keeping your drill battery charged and then having it run out while you're on the roof. You're going to see all those things. So I give you the tips and I show you what I do. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to warn you that when you take off shrouds for air conditioners, sometimes you run into situations where you have screws that won't come out and you have to um, resort to trying maybe some WD-40 spray or something like that. Maybe they're rusted in there or maybe they're stripped. So that does happen. It can be frustrating when you're dealing with a strip screw, and this does happen a lot of times. Every time I'm cleaning the air conditioner, there seems to be at least one screw that is stripped. And um, you also want to remember the placement of them, so I always take pictures before I pull everything out. Don't forget your gloves. I forgot mine and I had to use my shirt in order to pull that metal off, which can be very sharp at times. Remove that sensor prior to cleaning the coils. Do not forget to put it back in. Ask me how I know. Another thing you want to remember, and I made a mistake and, and forgot it first, but you want to put a towel down because when you are spraying in the coils, it can get on the inside of the RV down in that filter area. So I grab my towel here and I kind of just stuff it in that cavity to prevent it from going in. The cleaner has a cap that you use to go in an upward motion to clean the coils. You can use this on the coils dry to get rid of debris, and you can also use it when it's wet with the cleaner. The cleaner is a rinseless cleaner, and I will link those also in the description.
don't forget to put the sensor back in. It's very important. Or you will have somebody calling you saying that they are um, having problems with their air conditioner and it's freezing up on them. When you are putting the metal back on, you want to make sure that it lines up correctly. It gets confusing if you don't take the picture before. You think you're going to remember, but then you put this on and you don't remember if it gets tucked in or on the out. So just take a picture of it and you won't um, forget. You can look back to it. But you have to make sure that it goes on correctly. It fits like a puzzle. So the other thing that happened while I was up there is my drill ran out of power and I have luckily I had a manual screwdriver with me so when you're packing your bag always make sure you have a full battery and also make sure you have a manual screwdriver so that you can use that if necessary. I am now cleaning the other side of the air conditioner, cleaning the coils, but this area has a lot more dust and debris and hair on it, so I'm dry brushing it first with that cap. And I'm trying to straighten those coils there. You can see there's a bend in them, and I can't get it to straighten with the brush alone. Sometimes you can, but I have another tool that I'm going to grab from my bag, and I'm going to go ahead and straighten those coils out with that. I will leave that in the description as well um, on an Amazon link. It's important to note that the reason why I'm doing this for my client is because it, it improves the efficiency of the airflow. You really want to make sure that those coils are not bent. And if they are, you want to get a tool like this so you can try to straighten them as much as you can. Now I'm putting the shroud back on and something to be careful of, especially with the Coleman muck, is if that bottom goes down first, it can get wedged there and then you have a heck of a time trying to pull that back off. You have to put the front and the back down around the same time. It tends to want to get caught up on the edges and stuff, but just make sure that you're doing that at the, um, they have an evenly, it have it evenly brought down on both ends.
this project is completed for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.